Sphere of Dragon, Zilong. Passive, Dragon Flurry. After every three basic attacks, Zilong triggers Dragon Flurry on the next basic attack, attacking the target three times. Each attack deals 50% of the basic attack damage and restores Zilong's HP. First skill, Spear Flip. Zilong uses his first skill to lift an enemy over his back, dealing physical damage to the target. Second skill, Spear Strike. With Zilong's second skill, he lunges at the target enemy, dealing physical damage on hit and reduces the target's physical defense, then immediately launches a basic attack on the same target. Successfully killing an enemy target resets the cooldown of Zilong's second skill. Ultimate Supreme Warrior. Zilong's ultimate increases his movement and attack speed and makes him immune to all slow effects. His ultimate also removes slow effects upon casting. While Supreme Warrior is active, Dragon Flurry attacks are triggered every two basic attacks. In the laning phase, Zilong should use his second skill to close in on the target enemy and lower their defenses. Then, lift the target over his back and follow up with basic attacks to trigger as many Dragon Flurry attacks as possible. In teamfights, activate Zilong's ultimate to gain a movement and attack speed bonus before charging at the target enemy with his second skill. Then use his first skill to move the target over his back and follow up with basic attacks to trigger the Dragon Flurry passive. Shut down. Since Zilong's ultimate gives him slow immunity and high movement speed, Zilong often does solo laning in the late game. Unfortunately, heroes with a strong single target CC can easily counter Zilong, such as Franco. We recommend upgrading Zilong's second skill at level 1, then prioritize upgrading it. Minion kills reset Zilong's second skill cooldown, making it easier for him to clear minion waves. Zilong's second skill can reset his basic attack cooldown, allowing him to deal more damage when timed carefully. Zilong's first skill can be used to pull enemy heroes to your turrets for an easy kill when fighting enemies on the lanes. Zilong's ultimate is also a good escape ability, as it makes him immune to all slow effects. Berserker's Fury is Zilong's core equipment piece because of its high crit bonus, which greatly increases his crit damage when equipped. Bill bladed the Hept disease in the early game to increase Zilong's attack and physical penetration. Then, build Malefic Roar in the late game to increase his damage against enemy tank heroes. We recommend the Inspire Battle spell for Zilong, as it can boost its attack speed for a short time, allowing him to deal more Dragon Flurry attacks. We also recommend the Arrival Battle spell for Zilong, because it unlocks his laning potential to create distractions for the enemy team in the late game. The slow effect immunity that Zilong gets from his ultimate makes him strong against squishy heroes without CC skills, such as Layla and Lylia. But Zilong is still vulnerable to other CC skills, making him weak against heroes with strong CC skills, such as Franco and Nana. Zilong works best with heroes with strong defense that can hold off enemy attacks while he solos the lane, such as Farza and Hanabi. Zilong has a poor escaping ability before reaching level 4, so he should focus on farming and look for opportunities to pull enemy heroes to your turret for free hits or kills. In the late game, Zilong can solo the lanes to pressure the enemy, then focus on taking down enemy turrets or their base instead of joining his teammates for teamfights.